The Eternal Darkness by Mavi Faith Vienna In sheer darkness he remained in the void of silence, waiting, breathing, and listening to his own heartbeat pounding and echoing. An uncertain feeling between fear and menace ran through his veins. Just a soft sound of his own whisper echoed from the stones, breaking the silence. Stones that should have cruelly broken his bones were all he felt. Thrown into nothing and lost, it should have been lethal. It should have destroyed him. Instead of being broken, he found himself in the embrace of an endless night without hope. Like in a prison with walls of black darkness, he was trapped and grabbed by despair. Did he want too much and lost everything instead? Did he expect too much and sacrificed everything for it? Silence grew louder to deafen him, and just his inner scream fought against the merciless madness. The desolation of emptiness raged in him, disoriented and destructive. Cut from the light of truth that was meant to be eternally connected to him, the void seemed to devour and to bind him forever. Violently, it was detached from him, and now this darkness was his death. He sensed that the gloom would dissolve him. The essence of his existence was lost to him, torn out of his core to hand him to eternal oblivion. Marked by this judgment, he was left with nothing but pain and madness. Blind and deaf, he tried to understand, tried to grasp the meaning behind it all. Full of desire, he looked into the eternal night around him, hoping to catch one last glance of the flame taken from him. Painfully, he tried to remember, to recall that picture within himself. But all he caught sight of in within himself was the darkness surrounding him in its coldness and purity. Every memory was lost, stolen, and it was nothing else than black emptiness. Knowledge seized him insidiously, like a frozen hand that slid over his skin and laid itself around his throat without mercy. He was trapped beyond retrieval in this place. For him there was no return. All that was left for him was to perish slowly on a pitch-black night without stars. A familiar painful feeling was rising like a tremor, passing through the blackness that threatened to devour him, to give up without fighting, to truckle, and to surrender to oblivion. He had always been this fighter, a warrior full of rage, who wielded a sword of flames mercilessly to be victorious. Anarchistically, the will to fight rose, to stand up against the darkness and to conquer. The scream that wrenched from his throat and broke the silence shattered the universe. The unrestrained rage in him blazed ardently, formed into a flame which rose in him to a conflagration. In disbelief, his eyes captured an uncertain glow around him, that broke through the darkness resembling the light of dawn at the horizon. A vague glow out of nowhere, breaking through the eternal night. The crueler the flames burn within, 
the brighter the violet light glowed. Created out of the void and of the beat of his heart, the night gave its way to the light created from knowledge. It was himself, all alone, who illumined the flames within and turned them into this inferno. Out of his inner abysm, he filled this empty world with a newborn light. Wistfully, he looked into the infinity of the vastness that became his possession, while the glow of his kingdom was reflected in his eyes. This place created to break him, kill him, and finally destroy him. He submitted to himself and filled it with fire. What was meant to become his eternal grave was surrounded to the burning inferno inside him in the deepest red and violet shades. The new world surrounding him, risen from the judgment's darkness, was gleaming in the light of dawn, which was rising tremendously. Out of nowhere, formless figures appeared, who now turned their gaze to him. Fallen men like him, those who had surrendered to oblivion. His fire reawakened them, and they glanced at him. An army that stood up in the reflection of his fire and looked at him. Branded by torture, the previously indescribable beauty of his dark king was irretrievably destroyed. Now, his power began to show on his face and was reflected in the eyes of the condemned souls. Gratefulness and a breath of surrendering love touched him to let the world around him shine even brighter. And the whispers of their voices murmured in the silence, turning into a melody that was telling him about fate about wounds they all were branded with. Even those who seemed to be irrecoverably lost rose as their inner fire sparkled again, those in whom every hope had died, and their king filled this world with fire. And the darkness turned to ashes, which silently soared up, dancing over the burning hearts, floating into the distance into a lost world, levitating towards those whom they had once expulsed and to freeze far from the flames. Solidified to frozen stars, the ashes covered his burning world, glowing and freezing at the same time. He felt the power of his hell shining, shimmering, and sparkling. Overwhelmed, he closed his blinded eyes. In the luminous glare of his love, he created an empire, an emperor over a world of burning ice, a commander over the broken. He was devoted and dreaded at the same time. Solitarily, he looked at his kingdom and pledged to protect them, his underworld and his violated, shattered children. It's clear the embrace of hate that set me free. It brought me back on my way. It's my destiny by Les DMV.